How's it going guys? Virik here on another Wizard Quad Kiting video. Today I am out in Awakening Lands doing suits. I'm um, doing fours. I'll show you after I'm doing quadding because if I wait too long somebody could come up and attempt to swipe the camp from me. But um, again this is Awakening Lands and I'm on fours right now. And um, I'll show you how it's done here. Um, I'm 56 now. And it's just going really slow. I'm getting about a percent per quad. Um, so yeah, it's 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 a real bummer. But you know, it works. I just pull a quad and then AFK for 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 a bit. But um, I'm really liking this spot at 55 when I came here. Um, I'm I don't get very many resists starting at 55. At 54 is pretty tough. Um, there are a few green pathers that come through here every once in a while. They're not too, too big of a deal. There is one who comes through here. I don't recall his name. He's for the druid. It's like a, a corrupted fawn. Watch out for him because he will backstab you and like one-shot you. So be very careful. Um, but this is fours right here. There are four suits that you can pull in quad. I'll kind of show you what, what which path I take. And uh, then after I'm done pulling the quad, I'll I'll show you where sixes are at and whatnot. But I usually before I flux staff one of them to start the pull, I look around and make sure that that fawn isn't passing through here because that dude just wrecks you. But anyways, we'll let's go ahead and give him a pull. Make sure he gets that fourth one because every once in a while, every once in a while the fourth one he won't pull. But what I do is I just kind of circle around and I go up to this uh, this rock wall right here and then run up and um, till I get to the ferry cliff up here uh, this place is pretty good you can make plat here by getting the armor pieces but they're so heavy I don't even loot them so I'm losing a ton of plat but right here is the ferry, a little cliff up here. And I usually stop right here and go ahead and pop a snare. So when you do, be careful because sometimes people will, will like met up here. And if they do and you drag these through them, I've had my whole quad just freaking rock somebody and one shot them as they were sitting down. So I felt bad. But um, I'll start my nuke in a second. But... What I do is, you'll notice this ledge up here. So I kind of follow that ledge all the way around until they're they're dead. On a, on a normal quad, I would have already got off a couple nukes, but I just want to show you the uh, ledge. So I just kind of stay on this ledge right here, and and it's getting all down. But it's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. Um, I've tried multiple paths around to try to find the like best one, and I like this one the best. I I pull them um, up to the the ferries, I snare them, and then I just follow the, this ledge until they're they're all dead. And um, there's nothing that passed up here that I have seen yet, so. It's fairly safe. I've never seen anything up here ever, and I've been quadding uh, fours for a long time now. And if this level is getting one percent, it takes a freaking long time. And again, usually by by this time I would already have him dead, but I was freaking yapping. After this, I'll show you the sixes, and um, as you can see, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm looking forward to level 57 because I get my group evacuate and I get a new quad kiting spell, a new nuke. So as I said, on these guys, they do drop gems sometimes, and they drop a lot of armor. See that there's a gem. They drop a lot of armor, but of course they did it on this one, and it's so heavy that I I don't even loot it. There have been times where if I know I'm going to be here a long time, if I catch like a mage in the area, I'll have them give me a couple weight reduction bags and then, and then loot everything. But um, 
I don't like to do that because it takes too much time and I just don't care. I mean, if you're really broke, then you might want to loot and or if you have good bags, which I don't. So I just I don't really care. The spawn time for the suits is 14 minutes and 30 seconds, but this is the fairy cliff I was talking about. And again, there are people who will come up here and sit down and meditate. So if you're running up here and you see them, I would kind of, you know, I, I, I would run off here and, and then snare or whatever, snare them and start the nuke here because there was some poor dude sitting up here meditating and I, my quad ran right over the top of them and just one shot at them. So I felt pretty bad. But um, well, let me show you sixes which are down over here again always keeping an eye out for the for the corrupted fawn because he uh, he just wrecks you but over here this camp is sixes and there's four that which somebody's quoting them right now four that are in here and then two that are in here and I don't have the mana to kill all six I don't really see a lot of people who actually quad all six um, and some people pull all four in here, and some people will pull these two, and then flex staff the two here, which just pulls four, and the two in the, uh, like back there stay. But, this is Waking Lands. It's pretty, this is a great spot. I wish I had the rate, the weight reduction bag, so I actually loot everything, because I would have made a lot more plot here. But, I'm just too lazy to get a few items, and then gate out, and then come back in, because... The spawn time is fairly fast, and it usually takes me about 12 minutes to to, to met up a full bar. But anyways, after I'm done quadding, I run back um, over, see down here is fours. I'll run back um, over about right in here by these little trees right here, and then... I'll hit myself with improved visibility, which is a spell I just got. It's, it's freaking awesome. When when you can get it, try to get it. Because improved visibility is a set timer. Like, it doesn't randomly wear off at random times. It's always a certain amount of time. I believe it's 10 minutes. But And then I just sit here in med. But this is Awakening Lands. Um, and it's a great spot. It, it is taking quite a bit. So if you get it, keep it for like as long as you can obviously and it's gonna the fours are gonna spawn long before like I have a mana bar back because I've been showing her you guys around and whatnot and talking but um this is pretty much it it's a great spot um, again if you know a couple mage buddies have them give you a couple weight reduction bags the like 10 slots and then loot I mean because you can make quite a bit of ply here doing that um, but this is pretty much it. I don't really have any new additions to gear, just mainly spells, which improve invisibility. Uh, one spell I have been looking for is the invisibility to undead, the one for, for like a wizard, and I it's so hard to find. I, I, I can't find it anywhere, but I don't believe I have any new additions. Um, it's just all the same crap. So this is pretty much it. Um, I would do another quad for you, but it's um, it, I just sit here for 10 minutes or so getting mana back. So I'm not going to do that. Um, what I might do is cut the video here and then bounce over to Goose because I believe they're not camped right now. Because there's another great spot in here for getting the Goose, which you can actually make quite a bit of money off of them. Because I, I always go to those when, when these are taken. But if these are up, always take these first. They're they're easier to quad. They're not in a cave. It's there's good safe spot to sit, and this is a safe spot. Nothing passed through here. I have AFK here for quite a long time, and I come back alive. The only time I have died here is when somebody drug their quad up over this cliff, and the quad stopped. You know, because I was sitting down and just one shot of me. But um, what else? Watch out for the corrupted fawn, because I have ran into him before and it was I had my epic um, rune up so like I had like 5% health left he just backstabbed me and it took my whole rune and almost all my health 
So like if you don't have that up, then be, he's just gonna one shot you. Um, and as far as up in here, I have never seen any pathers that path through here. So that's pretty much it. Again, this is where the four spawn. You just pull them, run them up around to the cliff up here, follow it down. When you get to the ferries, throw your snare, stay on the edge, um, the ledge up here, and quad them down. It's, it's that simple. And ferries is also a safe place to sit uh, as well if you ever need a med or whatever, but I just run back there um, on the mountain where I showed you, but like on sixes, I always come up here and med. Actually, I go a little farther back because I killed that poor guy one time. So I'll kind of stay back in case somebody pulls a, a quad up here. But, yeah, this is it, guys. Um, I don't really know what else to go over. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm going to go ahead and do a goose video and uh, show you that because that's a great spot as well. Um, this suits will take you all the way to 60. So you can stay here all the way to 60, and it is slow. It's very slow because, again, it's 1% of quad, and it's a 14.5-minute um, repop. So, like, if both 4s and 6s are open and you have POTG and C2, then you can totally do them both, like, pr pretty easily. But, again, getting POTG and C2 constantly is you know, it's pretty tough to do and then if somebody comes then you have to give up camp but if, but if they both have them in the open and you got some nice buddies who will throw you POTG and SC2 then then you you can do both quads for camps but other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video and I'll make one for goose here um, in the next couple days and uh, that's it um, I'm looking forward to getting to 57 get my new quad spell and my group evac and um it's a slow going hard road but i i like it it's worth it all right guys hope you all have a great evening hope you and or morning whatever time it is it's evening for me I'm about to go to bed but you guys have a great evening day morning afternoon and um see you in the next video